And this is how one couple is helping DC kids with next to nothing succeed in school. Hello, I'm Deborah Alferone. They're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. A DC police sergeant and his wife, a community outreach coordinator for the department, are helping thousands of kids start the school year right. Our Matt Uris reports that they and their community collected school supplies and backpacks for more than 2,500 kids in DC's lower income neighborhoods. Deborah, Sergeant Jonathan Branch and his wife, Kai, started the initiative about five years ago. They were prompted in part by what Sergeant Branch saw on his beat. Kids growing up without shoes and homes without electricity or enough food, much less school supplies. Now, with each passing year, the couple is setting up more and more kids for success. <laughs> kids. They don't have a say in their environment in which they are raised. One kid could be enjoying a playhouse while another is sitting in his car seat, surrounded by men drinking and gambling, moments before he is hit with a stray bullet. A reality for one infant in D.C. earlier this week, and an all too familiar reality shaping destinies, at least in part, for countless other kids in D.C. and across the country. Growing up in the city, um, a lot of young men that I grew up with didn't make it to see age 30. You know, and they didn't always have a good example. We have backpacks, we have pencil boxes, crayons. When Branch and his wife started their school supply drive five years ago, the duo helped about 100 kids. Fast forward five years, more than 2,000 kids will have new backpacks and more. We have um, over 500 of pencils, composition books, crayons, glue sticks, a little bit of everything. So we're going to bless a lot of kids this year. Moments like these, hosted to bring about positive change into communities and attended by police officers, deserve more media coverage. That's according to Sergeant Branch. It seems like drama sells, and unfortunately we've had a lot of incidents you know, nationwide. Um, but it's so much good that goes on that never gets covered, you know, on a daily basis. You know, I know so many officers who, you know, again, take money out of their own pocket to buy kids something to eat, something to drink, put food in refrigerators, things like that. Branch and his wife hope to one day open up a nonprofit so more and more kids will have a better shot at achieving their goals. Teacher, a fire, I mean, a pulley, a singer. Sergeant Branch said we need more good men and women to get involved, maybe as coaches or tutors, for example. If you want to help out with this project, you can make a donation on their GoFundMe page, which you can find on our WUSA 9 app. In Suitland, Matt Uris, WUSA 9. What a wonderful story. It takes several weeks for the branches to get all those backpacks stuffed with supplies, but when they do, they and a bunch of volunteers, they're going to give them to those kids firsthand. It's going to be amazing. All right.